Hello friends, Tony here. So in this video, just I'm going to show you, I have made some changes here. So the title now I have added right here. Here we have the date from start date and end date. And as you can see, we have a different format for the start date and end date. We are going to fix that. Then here I have the start time. Also, I have displayed the tags, as you can see. Then here is the description. And on the right end, I have added the location Greece Athens, and this is the address. Now here we have comments. And be because I am a test user, I can see the delete button, because this uh, comment belongs to me. And other comments are not belonging to me. And I had a comment uh, in the YouTube to sort comments. And I have done that. So let's open the VS Code and show you if I open the events show. Today's video is brought to you by Cloudways, a managed cloud hosting platform for PHP based applications. So we have a WordPress, Magento, Laravel and PHP. Cloudways takes over all server management and security hassles to let you solely focus on your business. Their custom stack provides performance boost, managed backups that keep your app safe and a staging environment that lets you test code without breaking live sites. Plus, pre-configured Composer and integrated GI make deployments a breeze and you get a choice between five top cloud providers including DigitalOcean, Vulter, Linode, WSL and GCI. With Cloudways, you not only get flexibility but peace of mind. So if you are an agency or an e-commerce store owner, Cloudways is a great fit for all your managed hosting requirements. Don't forget to use promo code link in description. Uh, yeah, here I added comments, latest get, so I get, now if I add another comment, so let's say uh, last comment I'm going to say, and say post, as you can see, last comment is up here. Now, uh, in this video also I'm going to create a policy for the comment because right now we just protect the show and hide the, the delete button but if we have a hacker and is going to send a request with the comment ID I want to protect that and for that I'm going to create a comment policy okay so if I let me come here and remove this check of the form and let's save from here as you can see now we see all of them and this is not belonging to me but if I click delete yeah we are going to delete because on the delete comment we just say comment delete we're not checking if this comment belong to that and so on because I want to create the policy as I said so let's open the terminal and let's create that and here I'm going to create, I'm going to open a terminal and let's open a new instance of a terminal and let's say artisan make policy, comment policy and I'm going to add also the model comment, hit enter, okay. Now let's open that policy, so comment policy here and what I want on the delete now we need to return a boolean I want to say here return dollar sign user if the user ID is triple equal to the comment user ID if that is true the user is going to delete that otherwise it's not going to delete now if I save this and open the browser and refresh I am as a test user here, so let on the dashboard, and as you can see, here we are, test user. But this uh, comment is not belonging to me, but if I click here, we can delete. Now let's uh, fix that, let's go to the delete 
comment controller and here now it say dollar sign this and close the authorize and authorize the delete sorry delete and we need to pass here the comment like this because here we have the delete method and we need to pass the comment so we have added the authorization and let's save and let's see on the browser now and I'm going to log out and log in with uh, another user so let's register with a fake filler here okay let's go to the home page this event yeah I can see that let's create new comments so just let's say test post okay now if I want to delete the comment of a test user we have this action is unauthorized 403 but if I want to delete my comment yeah we, I can delete that now let's work with the the hide the delete button if the comment is not belonging to the user who is authenticated and instead of some things like this we had we can use the policy and let's see here when we have a view let's do the same thing it's going to return true only if the user id is triple with a comment user id and now let's use this view on the events show blade and we can use a can blade helper here say can in view and we need to add also the comments the last sign comment here and now let's remove this entity and replace with the end can here save so now we have can view and we use the view method okay in view and we need to pass the comment and if I save now and let's see on the browser yeah we don't see the delete button so this comments but if I create comment and the comment belong to me I can see that okay friends that's it about this video now for the design of here you can find on the github repository I just show you also let me zoom out and yeah I'm going to scroll down a little bit so here I added the S24 title and the start date and date also let's fix the start date because I forget yeah we have here this format of the date and of course if I go to the update as you can see we don't have the start date here and that's it because we have added the so let's open the event model we have added the date protected cast here for start date so let's copy this and do the same for the end date so I'm going to say here end date let's refresh yeah also the end date we don't see and we have the same date format now let's work with that let's open the events show and here when we have start date we can say format like this and let's format what we want so m slash d slash y and let's do the same for this one now if i save yeah if we have the format we want now let's work with well, let's fix also this one so let's refresh yeah let's go to the edit blade inside the resources views events and here we have the start date and date also we need to 
format this and we need to format on uh, what the date needed so for that we need to say here format y dash m not m dash d dash m like this let's do the same also for the end date and now if i save and come here yeah now we see the date start date and date okay friends that's it about this video so let's remove this live wire from here for example or ugs update okay now let's see refresh yeah we have only the dial and live wire the dates are correctly and also are correct here good that's it about this video don't forget if you like a video like this subscribe to my channel share with your friends and like the video because it's going to help me on youtube all the best